Hello and welcome to Guten. My name is Kevin and today we'll go over how we can place bulk orders by uploading a CSV file in Guten. To place orders by uploading a CSV file, let's first go to the CSV order import page. On this page, you can upload bulk orders all at once in Guten. You can do this by simply uploading your CSV file using the file button here. Let's first take a look at the CSV template file. You can download a template of the CSV file by clicking the CSV template link here. Once you open up the template file, you'll notice that the headers will be available for all the fields. What you need to do next is to fill in the fields for each column. Each row is an individual order item. In this example, we already have some orders and items already filled out in the CSV file. As of right now, this CSV file contains four separate orders and we can tell this by the fact that the reference order number in the first column is all different. If we want to group order items into one order, you have to match the reference order number in the first column, and then the reference order item number in the second column must be different. So for example, let's group the first two order items together into one order. Let's change the reference order number in the first column for the first two order items to match. We'll change it to 3000 for both. Here, we don't have to change the reference order item number in the second column because they are already different for each order. For now, we'll keep the reference order item number 1 for the first item and 2 for the second item. Doing this will group the first two items together into one order. Now let's try this again and group the last two order items together into one order. We'll change the reference order number to 4000 for both. Again, the reference order item number in the second column has to be different from each other, so keeping it 1 and 2 should be fine. After doing that, we just have to make sure the rest of the columns are filled out properly. You want to double check that the information you enter is 100% correct so that you don't run into any issues. This is especially important when entering the shipping addresses for your orders. One of the most important columns is the friendly SKU column, where you have to add the specific product SKU from our product catalog. This is the product that is being ordered. The output URL column is very important as well as this column includes a link to your artwork design that's being printed on your product. We highly recommend using Dropbox to store your designs and sharing the URLs for your design via Dropbox. When sharing the Dropbox URL, you want to replace the default dropbox.com URL with the dldropboxusercontent.com URL. If your product requires more than one image, like a double-sided product, you would include all the URLs for the design on the same line with a semicolon separating each URL. You can find more information on this in our knowledge base article. After you finish filling out the CSV template, you can go back to the CSV order import page. If you need any additional help or more information, you can click on the CSV template columns link, which brings up our knowledge base article. In the article, you can find detailed information about each column and how it should be filled out. Now, once you're ready, you can upload the CSV file. To do this, click on the File button and select your CSV file that you just filled out. After selecting it, click on the Upload CSV button. This page will display your CSV file so that you can confirm the information is correct before submitting your orders. After confirming, simply click on the Submit Orders button. This will submit your orders and may take some time depending on how many orders you are bulk importing. Once it's done, you'll see a notification at the top of the screen notifying you that your orders are submitted. Now on our orders page, we can see that we just imported our orders. If we see here, we have the order with the order reference number of 3000, which includes two items in the order. We can also see our second order that we imported with the order reference number of 4000 here, which also includes two items in the order. Let's click in the order with the reference number of 3000. This is the individual order that we just imported that includes two items that we grouped for the order earlier. We can see both individual items in the order by scrolling down. Now if we go back to the orders page and click into the order with the reference number of 4000, we'll be able to see the two items that we grouped for that order earlier as well. Congratulations! You have just learned how to place bulk orders by uploading a CSV file in Guten. My name is Kevin and thank you for watching.